Believe it or not, some people are all waking up. Now, I saw this clip. I hope that we're so okay to play this clip. Um, it's only a minute long. But after watching this clip, I had I had hope, but a little bit of, eh, but a little bit of hope. Since we don't get to do hope a lot, I want to play it for you. Check it out. The details on why the judge said no. Uh -huh. Tavarius, is everything okay? Okay. My government leaders have abandoned me. Are you are you the owner? Dollars of four trillion dollars of stimulus money. They gave it to who? Special what? interest groups and campaign donors. I'm Dave Morris. I own the place. So what's going on? What's going on? You know what's going on. Tell me. You tell me. Hey, we got a government that has taken the stimulus money. They gave it to special campaign donors. They gave it to special interests. They abandoned me, and they have put me in a position where I have to fight back, okay? So do you feel that this is the right thing to do? Absolutely. I feel everybody needs to stand up. Hey, listen, there was enough money to give every family, every family in this country $20,000 to go home for two months. They chose to give it to special interests and campaign donors, the Kennedy Space Center, and they abandoned us. So, you could have given me money. I'd gladly walk away for 60 days and let this virus settle down. I'm not going to do it alone. Okay? Are you going to continue to violate the state's orders and this stay open? This is a sta state order. This isn't an order. This is a conspiracy. This is a tyranny. What do you want to tell other restaurant owners who... Wake up. Stand up. This is America. Be free. I got patriots coming out supporting me. Okay. Now, what I love about that clip is that... Give it up for that brother, first of all. Give it up for that brother. All right? That brother's waking up, man. That brother's woke. Kinda. Okay? <laughs> I mean, you started off really on point. And, and at the end of it, he, you know, he got off the road. He went off the road at the end. Yeah, he was hitting trees and snakes and shit in the off, you know, down in the down in the trench, you know. Road up here, him down here. But in the beginning, he was on the road solid, okay? He was between the lines. He was killing it. And I want to give him love for that because it's 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 good to the soul to see a brother knowing what time it is. He understands that they gave all that money away and they didn't give that money to him. Or people like him, their own businesses. He's a business owner in Michigan. Instead of and he said, look, I would have gladly taken two months off. Let this thing cool down. COVID nineteen. Let this thing cool down. I was sat at home. But I can't I couldn't do that. I couldn't let my, my children's inheritance go to hell. Right? That's what he's saying. Like, I, I'm adding a little bit to it, right? I'm helping him articulate it a little bit. But that's what he said. He said, I would have sat home for two months. You could have just gave me money. We could have all just went home for a while and let this thing simmer down. But he didn't. you didn't give us money. You gave us $1,200, motherfucker. And then you said, go home. Well, that held him for about a week or two weeks. And then, the, you know, then they start knocking on the door for the money. Okay? They start knocking on the door at that point because uh, companies, the bill collectors want their money. So here we are. Here we are. And I'm telling you guys, there are some people that are waking up, and I'm seeing a lot more of it, and this is not about party. It's about reality. It's about reality, folks. So people keep talking to me about there's going to be a civil war. Stop fantasizing, okay? Stop fantasizing. But what there, what there should be is a revolution, okay? And that revolution should be against the people that got the money. At some point, all of us have to recognize we're fighting amongst ourselves when they take the money and run out the door. At some point. And that brother right there is calling it out. So I feel, I feel I'm glad to see it where... Obviously, there are people that know what time it is. Now, he may not articulate it the way you would articulate it. He may have a different way of expressing it. But he knows, he know, one thing is for certain, two things for sure. He know damn well the government had the money, that we print our own money, and if they wanted to, this would not be an issue. And unlike they like to paint it, unlike they paint it often on these uh, news shows, he wasn't going, I don't want to wear no mask. I don't want to wear no mask, and I don't believe it, so I think it's a big hoax, and there's an alien in the bathroom, and a bunch of stuff. They let a, this guy talked, and he, you know, 
Because what they try to do, they try to find the most volatile person. But this person just happened to walk up. This was not a scheduled interview. He happens to walk up. He was the owner of the restaurant. He walked up. This was not prepared. Because if it was prepared, you know what they do. They go find that guy that's like this. I try to tell you that Donald Trump is the king of God. He is the God of man, a man of man, a God amongst man. And you shouldn't wear a mask, you dumb sissies. And I hate the blacks and the gays and the Jews. And we need to do, we need to fight back and tyranny. And, you know, that guy's the guy they go get. And that's just to scare black people. That's all. And my black people, so black people vote for Joe Biden. That's all that is. I mean, I know that guy exists, but everybody's not that guy. <laughs> so anyway, anyway, uh, there we go. So uh, keep hope alive. Don't fall for the banana in the tailpipe. Don't be fooled by corporate media talking heads misleading the people. Get your news and information from an entity that keeps it real. Tim Black. Tim Black is the host of The Tim Black Show. Independent news that leaves you informed, inspired, and sometimes entertained, but always in the know. Go to TimBlackTV.com and sign up today. The Tim Black Show is news for people who can't stand the news. See you there.